welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to show how to install windows 11 on virtual box manager in ubuntu or linux so let's get started at first open your favorite web browser and search for vm virtual box manager and browse virtualbox.org url i am going to download virtualbox manager for linux distribution click here and select ubuntu 22.04 it may take a while for downloading virtualbox after a successful download navigate to download folder and open in terminal now i'm going to install this package using this command sudo dpkg hyphen i now write the package name with dot dev now hit enter and a password hit enter it may take a while for installing virtual box manager if you get this error you can fix this issue using this command sudo app install hyphen f then hit enter now type y and hit enter to continue installation Now I am going to open virtual box manager. Virtual box 7 installed successfully. Now I am going to install Windows 11 on Oracle VM virtual box manager in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Before starting the installation, you must download Windows 11 iso image from this website and then scroll down from here download windows 11 disk image iso file select and then click on download now button now select the product language and then click on confirm button finally click on this download link to download windows 11 iso image i already have downloaded it on my machine now open oracle vm virtual box manager and create a new virtual machine i am going to create new virtual machine i'm going to name it windows 11 okay and then select iso image click on other and then browse the location where you store the windows 11 iso file select the iso disk image and then open now skip this unattended installation option and then click on next now you can modify virtual machines hardware by changing amount of ram and virtual cpu count depending on installed RAM size of your computer and also increase the number of CPU depending on your processors okay then click on next now create a virtual hard disk 
you can increase this size click on next now click on finish button now I'm going to change some settings so open settings and then select system tab and then select TPM version 2.0 then enable EFI extended feature and make sure secure boot is enabled okay now enable this feature and also enable 3d acceleration and maximize this video memory okay click on ok now start the virtual machine to install windows 11 now press any key from keyboard and click on view and enable scaled mode to enable the full screen mode okay now click on next and then click on install now button setup is starting if you don't have a product key select this option and then select the operating system you want to install I'm going to install Windows 11 professional edition click on next now accept the Microsoft software license terms and then click on next now choose the type of installation do you want I'm going to select the second option to install Windows 11 okay now select this unallocated space and then click on new to create a new drive now select this primary drive and then format this drive now select and then click on next remember that the windows 11 will be installed on this drive it may take a while getting files ready for installation installing features installing updates and finishing up the installation so be patient Now select the country and also select the keyboard layout or input method. You can add a second keyboard layout or skip this option. Let's enter the name of your device. Now choose the option from this two to set up this device. I am going to set up for personal use. So select this option and then click on next. Let's add your Microsoft account.
select a device to restore from I don't want to restore from any device I'm going to set up a new device select the first option and then click on next let's create a pin enter the same pin again to confirm now choose privacy settings for your device you can disable all of this option I am going to skip this option. That's it. Windows 11 installed successfully on Oracle VM Virtual Box in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. If you are, are new to this channel, subscribe this channel and like, comment, share. Thank you so much for watching this video.